Hey guys, uh, this is just a little video to follow up what you would have seen there on uh, the slideshow with the meals that I'd consume in a day. Um, so as you can see, I start off with porridge. I have some chia seeds, flax seeds, nectar to sweeten it and almond milk. I'd have that most days. Um, I just find it's a really good start to the day and it's very filling. Uh, later then in the morning, I'd have whatever fruit I bought that week. So fruit and some nuts. And you can always keep things like nuts and seeds, like you can have them in the house at all times. Um, you can stock up in them a bit. So that would be a snack. Then my dinner, I made a curry myself, as you can see. So there's um, sweet potato in it, uh, lots of other veg chilies and a lot of chickpeas so i make it just basically with a red paste uh, i buy that thai gold one and um, a lot of coconut milk so i make big batches of things guys when i make it because i'm busy and I, i'm not going to be slaving over um, the cooker all day long so i've i'd make a big batch i'd often freeze things um, and obviously then defrost them, microwave them the next day. But since the whole COVID thing, I'm at home obviously an awful lot more. So if I make a pot of something, I tend to just not freeze it and use that pot of food for the next three days or so. Um, and then I had, you can see I had a snack. I had some rice cakes and nut butter. Um, I eat a lot of nut butters. Um, Again, they're just so, they're so good and they're so nutritious. Um, and I just never, <laughs> never have to worry about, am I getting enough protein in? I, I, I definitely am. Um, so I had that with a coffee and I'd say I had it around three o'clock that day because I had a weight session. I was planning to lift in my shed at half three. So I have a snack around 20 minutes, 30 minutes before I lift, it just works for me. Some people, they'd be, they'd be saying that's way too close, they'd feel sick, I it just works for me. I need food in me before I have to go and lift. And obviously I have a good bit of food in my system all accumulating throughout the day to get me ready for that session. Um, so then um, I, I'd have another big, I might need to snack sometimes after the session, it depends, Do you know, I, I kind of would have maybe a little bit more f fruit um, and nuts or sometimes I'd have like an Alpro yogurt or, and some blueberries in it or something. Um, but the bigger meal I'd have later in, in the day, you can see it was a stir fry. So it was a quinoa and tofu stir fry with loads of other veg in there and edamy beans. Um, I don't use this, I try not to use sauces, like saucy sauces, like that you'd buy in a jar. So what I used to make that taste good and so it's not dry, um, I'd have a bit of soy sauce, some um, lemon juice just squeezed all over it and some nectar. So you know the way some people would use honey in a stir fry to make it a little bit sweet and sticky and lovely. I, I use nectar to do that and it seems to, it does the same thing. So I had that later in the day. Um, I also had a cup of tea and a treat that evening. Um, I forgot to take a picture of it, so I'll add that in. I had a cup of tea and I had vegan ice cream and Oreos sprinkled through it. Um, and that was what I ate in the day took my supplements and I probably drink at least three, three litres of water a day. It'd be bad if I didn't, but I probably would have more up in around four. So three or four uh, litres of water. Um, I suppose the most important thing I want to get across, guys, is this is how I eat. I'm not telling you this is how you should eat, okay? So everyone's goals are different. Um, my goal is to be strong really strong i'm always chasing it i want to get stronger and stronger and stronger um and my health is really really important to me so what's important to me is the quality of food i'm taking in um i don't count calories i don't track macros i don't weigh my food um i don't starve myself and then eat a load of shit i i kind of just across the board eat healthily so i'll feel well this is simple as that that's all i want I want to feel well. Um, I don't want to be anxious. When I eat a load of sugar or crap, 
it affects my mood. I've, I've said this in another video. Um, I get all weird and anxious and nervous and stuff if I have too much. Do you know, like, that's why energy drinks and too much coffee and stuff like that. I just think we all should watch it a little bit. Um, so I meet, yeah, so my priority is health and strength. That's my priority. So I'm going to eat plenty of highly nutritious food. That's, it's so important to me. Um, I'm very maybe it's old age, I don't know what it is, but I'm so grateful I changed my um, emphasis over the years, whereas I was an awful lot more concerned years ago when I was younger about how how I looked and six packs and all this shite, and now performance and health is the most important thing to me. And then, like, without, I'm not trying to sound, um, I'm not trying to sound cocky saying this, but as a side effect of eating for health, I feel like I've um, an aesthetic now that I'm happier with than I've ever been happy. You know, my whole life, I feel I'm happier with my body now. And um, I've gotten to that point by prioritizing health as opposed to watching scales, seeing have I lines in my stomach, all this, it's just, it's just not, not important. but. Indirectly, I kind of got where I wanted to get anyway um, with my aesthetic, so that that's pretty good. So I know we're all different and we all have um, different goals and how we want to look and, and stuff like that, but I would invite you to just stop putting yourself under too much pressure uh, and just eat for your health and to feel well and to fuel your workouts. Um, and it's amazing the way everything else can kind of help uh, to just fall into place. Um, I'll, I don't want to draw on too much longer, Jesus Christ, I'm nearly at seven minutes, sorry. Um, I just want to say one or two other things. I'm not an expert at cooking, I, I'm not. I don't have a good flair for it. I often think of, I have a sister and she'd be adding things to things and going, taste that and it's just gorgeous what she does. I don't have that, but I'm good at cooking nutritious food and sneaking in and packing in extra veg or extra anything so I can get more, uh, nutrition in, 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 in a day. Um, so I'm not an expert cook, but I'm definitely very good at being organized. So that's half the battle, guys, okay? I hate food waste. I, I'd be so cross if I had to dump stuff that went off. So I really watch what's in the fridge, what needs to be used, what meals would be nice for the week, and then I'll shop on what I'm missing for, to make those meals. Um, that's kind of all I really wanted to say. One other thing you might kind of notice from how I eat, it might look like I kind of have two dinner dinners, other people would call them, um, like the, the curry and then a stir fry later on. It just it just works for me. Um, I need the fuel and I never would have a kind of a lunch where it's um, a wrap or a sandwich or something like that. Nothing against them, they just do not suit me. Um, they're really, bad for my digestion, they just don't suit me. So I'm better off eating meals where you've potatoes, sweet potatoes, quinoa, rice, uh, spelt pastas, buckwheat pastas, stuff like that, as opposed to kind of flowery, stodgy stuff. It just doesn't suit me. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few questions. Happy to answer them. Um, I probably won't, I'm not great at texting. Um, so when I get some, uh, what do you call it, questions coming in, guys, I will, respond on another video okay and um, so thanks for watching see you later